What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to Gibbs Gaming. I am your host, Gib, and we are back to playing Frambo. Now, um, last time where we left off, we left off playing that game. Now, in the meantime, while while I had this off, I was uh, figuring out the chemicals. What you had to do, look, let me show y'all. In this right here, you had to put the fire berries in here. And you had to put the chem the right chemicals in here by the diagram from the diagram right over here. So we did that. We put the fire berries in here, put all the chemicals in there, put turn the knobs right, and it made this I don't know exactly what it is, but we got it. But after that it word came in and told us to get a rabbit and go to the engine not engine room, uh some room and get it out. So that's where we're at right now. You all didn't miss much, I promise y'all just uh, making the chemical that's all I did but let's get into it so without further ado let's get into it all right all right it or let's go all right is this it yeah there we go alrighty let's follow you where's the rabbit right there there see it's just sitting there isn't that a strange behavior it that looks like a toy that looks like a toy. Why are you so scared of it? From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. All right, sir. I'll take care. I'll take the rabbit and show you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Watch us like some evil demon rabbit with sharp teeth. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There is nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, you little. What? What? Don't go, Mr. Mind Knight. This is not funny. What do you do? Is for is it were that scared? Oh, why did you scare it word? Anyway, you are very cute. The fuck? Oh my god. All right, what is this? Nuts and bolts. I never know which is okay. Um. Uh, what are we gonna do? Well, you have notes around the room. One, two, three, four. What is this? Anna. What is Anna? Is this like alphabet? Oh, look a wrench. Okay, maybe we can unscrew that panel. All right, we got a little sailor hat or a paper paper boat, whatever it is. <laughs> I never know. So bad. Okay. And not, okay, wait, hold on. Let me get it. Right there. Oh, that is so cool. Am I doing anything? Okay, there we go. Shit, I gotta do it again. Wow, that's not very secure for only two bolts. Come on now. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Up, down, there we go. Now, under the panel. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, it happened. Open. Cables that connect with each other. Uh, press everything. I don't know what I'm touching. I hope I don't. Okay, I think we need a battery. See? Right there. But we can't get out of here. Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. Um, what can we do? Can we, can we go that way? Never mind, we got a battery. Exactly what I'm looking for. Oh. What do we do? Um. What? I think it likes to push buttons. Yeah, I can tell. What am I gonna do? I can't climb on the elevator. Okay, look. Okay, look, come here. Give me that. Alright. Alright, no, you gotta hurry up when doing that. Alright. Uh, let's put the battery in. What is this gonna do? There you go, battery placing. Yes, it works. All right, what do you do? Okay, you do that. Can I move the hand, the thing now? I can. What does this do? No. Exactly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. But how do I touch that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I got an idea. Okay, go up. All right, give me just a second. I think I got this. All right, this button pushes that. I can't climb on the ele... Uh, it's not, dummy. What does that do? Am I oh, I'm going up, oh. Um, is that my parents? 
my dead parents. Let's go see. Maybe we can push him off. Are you? No, they're your demon parents. You hear that sound? Yep, exactly what I thought. All right, uh, what do we do? And do it. That was just there to scare me. Okay, I got you. Uh, another thing. Hmm, that is this is locked. Obviously, it is. Is this a water purifier? A water symbol? I guess it's connected to something. It sure is, Fran. No, man. No. A reset button. How practical. Wait, we gotta listen, I think. No? I don't know. Do I have to go back down and look? I'm not sure. Uh... Alright, that was very nice. Mommy, Daddy, who did... Yeah, I don't know. You, Why don't you tell me? Is this... Oh! What does that do, though? Oh. So we got a giant rabbit. Oh, that's the rabbit. Oh, a mechanic rabbit. It's not very cute. Well, that... Oh, wait, now, wait. They're labeled. What is this? What do they say now? Eight. Otten. Eight. Oh, that bitch would move, but it won't. Okay, what does it say? Five. Oh, 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 oh. The, I know what it's do. What are you doing? Do I gotta keep getting you carrots? No, no. Okay, I do. I see what I'm. I see, I see what it's doing. Um, it's tough. It's talking about for the lock on the little panel right there. Eight to the right. So, um, can I write this down? All right, I got a pen and a paper. All right, this is what we have. Okay, we got one. Two, three, four, four, five. Okay. What does it say? Okay, we have eight to the right. Eight, right. Let's go to two. Oh, that's two. Okay, uh, wait. Give the bunny the other carrot. Alrighty, alrighty. Take it and hurry the fuck up. Alright, I need this. Now, okay, five to the right. Five are. Now, that's two. Let's go to three. Eight to the left. Eight. L. Let's go to four. I hope this is right. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Unless I'm just being stupid. Six to the right. Six. R. And what is the last one? I hope I'm not wasting my time. I really hope I'm not. But, uh... All right, nine to the left. Nine L. So, we now got the numbers. It is eight right, five right, eight left, six right, nine left. So, let's go try that. Nine. Wait, what? I thought I had it. Oh, I did do it. Okay, never mind. It, it said it was locked, but I don't know. I, look, I got it. That's all that matters. Let's go down. We did it. See, that's what happens when you use your brain. Big brain, big thoughts. Let's go. All right, what do we got down here? Oh wait, oh that's right, we went. We're down here now. All right, why is it dark? Oh shit! Surprise, Fran. Happy birthday. You are one weird motherfucker. Look at your teeth. You need to brush them. You might need to get like uh, get a file and sit those bitches down. I'm, I don't know. Oh, a birthday party. Well, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry. I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right. Thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. Oh, how nice. And that's a big-ass cake. Oh, are those strawberries? The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. Uh, teddy bears? And your little freak black cats? I don't know. That means all of us naturally born are handsome beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. What is it? It's a cat. I can already see the ears. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. <gasps> what is it? I want to know. Oh. Examine. Wait, wait, wait. Examine it. <gasps> Told you it's a black cat. You can already see the fucking ears. 
Oh, I love it. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is it the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Uh, yes, please. I really know what all them weird shit things are. Yes, please. Already thirsty again. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra rea rare reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra rare reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time. Humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things is, is, encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? No, not really, but let's continue. I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, ha, ha. That may be a ship going up and down. Blow, no, blow on the candles, my dear. We are about to reach our destination. <sighs> Damn it. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Oh, thank God. I can go see Aunt Grace with my macaroni. She has it ready. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here we go. See, I did it. What happened? Are we about to crash? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Now, you better get your ass back to the control room, Edward. Oh, dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. What happened? What happened, Edward? Friend, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. You gotta be shitting me, right? There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it. Fast. How did I do that, sir? Yeah, please tell me. Water, that cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. It's right there. Okay, um... Can we use water on you? No, it, w it could work if I have water inside the... Do I have to take water out of this? Okay, look. We're gonna take water out of this. I can't take water from the pump. Where do I get it? Oh, I know. Wait, at, at the top where the sprinkler system was. Hold on. Alright, hold on. Let's put some water in this thing. Um, well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Push it over here. Is that enough? Is that good? Okay, it is. No. Is that is that going to be good? I don't know. Hold on. No. Oh, do we get it from this container or what? Nope, nothing. Of course. What was I think? I don't know. Do something stupid. Okay. Um. Um. Look, friend, you got to help me out. What do we do? Okay. Um. Hold on. We're gonna do it again. Oh my god. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, you had to get the puddle. Okay, we got the water. So, let's go kill that Kamala. Alright, here we go. Alright, bitch, here's the water. Hope you melt like the Wicked Witch of the West. Ooh. Did that do it? You dying? Where'd you go? Aw, oh, don't run away. Where are you going? Oh, shit. Are we good now? I don't know. Hey, let's go back to Itward. Uh, Mr. Itward, sir? Please, sir, I need your help. I can't help you now, friend. I have to concentrate on driving the machine. How to get rid of it? Can't find it. But, sir, I can't find the Kamala. That's because it's hiding. Get into the ultra area. It ran off, Itward. <laughs> okay, it's up here now. Um. Wait, where's the water? Can I talk to it? Please don't move. I have to pour. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. This. There we go. We did it now. Don't fucking move. Right there. Look, just stay still. You'll be cleansed in a minute. Okay? It's like holy water. You'll be blessed. No, not right there. Right there. Come on, yeah, there we go. Die, bitch. Oh, he's off. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Yes, let's go back to Itward. Alright. Oh, we did we make it? 
Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamal is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. What do you mean? No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Oh, shit, Katie. We're about to go down. Say your prayers. Hug each other. I will always take care of you, my dear. Uh-oh. Are we about to die? Are we? No? Oh, wait. Cutscene. What's going on? And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Does that mean she's dead? Oh, shit. It's like a meteor coming to Earth. Pew, pew. Damn, the end. The end. But that is a very sad ending. It would tell me another story, please. The fuck? Alright, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. Alright, this what the fuck? What happened? When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything? What I don't understand. Hey, I promise it would I'll never forget you. What ha Was this all a dream? Good. Now it's time to sleep. I don't I don't quite understand what's going on. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Okay. Sleep, friend, sleep. I don't know what happened. Let's see. Chapter 4, part 2, Doctor's Prescription. What if this was just all a dream? Really? Where am I at? Oh, look, there I am, and there's a deer. Ooh, hunting season. Alright, come up, Fran. Get up. It worked. Nope. Not today. Ow, kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear, yes, we are alive. What if... Wait a minute. Hmm, but Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town. Fran. Outside the town. Fran. Wait a minute. Is the town named Fran? The fu I don't know. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. You see, the bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to me someday. I think this was just all a dream the whole time. She was just fucking crazy the whole time and she thought she was in some... It was all real to her. Holy shit. I read my... Yeah, yeah. Is this every possible or mine? I don't know. What the fuck? Okay, we're in town now, so... Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Alright, um... Where are we going? Wait. Is this my house? I think so, means my window's open. And here we are. This looks more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Do we still have our stuff? Yeah, we do, so... It couldn't have been a dream. It had to be real. Aunt Grace, hello? Aunt Grace, macaroni on the table, please. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Is it one of these pots? I took the key... Wait, what? I, it says, I took the key, signed Fran. Fran, that's me. So, you lost the key, pretty much. Oh, shit. Where did I put it? No? How much you want to bet it's in this thing? I wonder why Paul Launcher gave me... I don't know. What the fuck? Is it anywhere around here? Anywhere at all? Can I climb through the window? Like a bad girl I am, right? I mean, look at the shit I already got into. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Yeah, because I'm a dumbass and I misplaced the key. Ah, all right then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Am I going to be Mr. Midnight again? I think so. Come on, you got to be the little sneaky little cat you are. Or is he going to do it? No. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. Hey, wait, is that the doctor? Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Don't take me back. 
Dr. Dern, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time. How did you escape? None of your business. That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask you why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kid again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth, he's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality, your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Look here. Look, oh, no, no, bitch. Really? Really? You aren't even gonna fight him? Watch, he opens the door. Watch this shit. What the hell? There are Velokas and Kamalas. So, what now? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt, hurt or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Yeah! Yeah! Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Really, I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. What is this? Family murder on Hay Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Danghart were found early this week, brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Holmes, said it seems when the bodies were perfectly sliced, which could cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victim must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. Oh, Grace, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents murdered. She froze to death. Oh, my God. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Bo, I died. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family and... <sighs> But I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplatin, whatever, were too high. That can't be good. At whatever, it creates a door between the subconscious and conscience. The problem is, if the uh, whatever is too high, the door will be too wide, and that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra rea ultra ultra rare reality, that's what it is. I keep fucking it up. Come on. That must be the consequences of duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, friend. All in my head, you say, then I may be able to control it. I mean they that you are imagining things, that's all. The fuck I try to tell you tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. What the fuck? Oh, oh, did your father harm you with your knife? Did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, and it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses, Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remmer. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Aethersta with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward of Palantris and my kitty is all alone. Palantris, Edward, please, friend. Palantris is a doctor of Aethersta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are, gonna, are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? I don't know. The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Claire and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly see the reaction of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Holy shit. That's why the well was in when we were at the twins' house. That's what that was. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. 
Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palancho's right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. <laughs> That's how I like it. Alright, what's going on now? We're at a cemetery. Here we are. Uh, what is this? But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Is he gonna molest me? Maybe I shouldn't go in, but let's go in to find out anyway. What's going on, Doc? What you gotta show me? This is your parents' resting place and also yours. Why did you bring me here? Why did you bring me here? Yeah, please tell me. Explain. Details. Elaborate. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean? What do you mean by by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty one, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deal. Do I? Oh, deadly worms came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you go right. I'll go see you in a few minutes right here. All right? Yes, sir, dear. I'll see you soon. Where are you going? Oh, you know what? Okay, look. Look. Here, look I will be right back. I need to go get some water, so be right back. All right, I am back, and I am not thirsty no more. Actually, well, a little bit, but still. I'm good now. Let's continue. Now, what is this? Oh, this is my parents' thing. Frambo, Dagger. Am I buried there too? No, I'm not buried. Fuck, no, I'm not. Martin Bow, Lucia Bow. They were born 1901, 1905. Ooh. So, four years separated them. Alright. Little praying ain't. I see. It's a little bug. What about this way? Okay, there's a lot of things we gotta look around here for. What is this? Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. And that's a grave. Is there anything? Oh, uh, wait. Did he say he goes left and I go right? Um. Can I use this to open it up? Oh, no. That will not work. We can't jimmy the lock. Can't do that. Alright. Um. What about going left? Can I get in the car and leave? No. I can. Alright. Oh, shit. I thought I could drive the car. Hey, Crowbar, I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Can we go for a spin? No? Okay. Well, let's go back. Wait. Ugh. Let's go back to the door. Alright, come on. We got this. Open that bitch up. What happened? <gasps> it's one of those pinecone people! Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. I thought so. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Are you one? Are you the one that I trapped in the rat trap? Don't, oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I would. I have big eyes. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Oh, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Tribe's collector? That fuck? The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Leather? Okay, well, tell me exactly what you're doing. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm? Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the de deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Uh -huh. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other the other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that, huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Leather? Where the hell am I gonna find leather? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's right, that's right, I remember now. Cars. There's back in I this is back in the day I think it's back in the 40s. Uh, car seats were made out of leather back then, and I just remembered you could use the knife and cut it out. So we what we got a piece of leather now? Yeah, we do. Okay. See, a little earlier I was trying to do that, but I didn't I didn't know how to do it. But I just remember using the knife to do it. So we got leather now. Let's go back to Mr. Pinecone. All right, let's bring the uh, the leather to you, Mr. Pinecone. There you go. What, well, like the chef? The salt. Let's not go there. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealous, will be happy. And now I'll open the door just a second. 
It's fine. Ugh, please do. Oh, you threw yourself up against that, man. You must be fat. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh, don't tell me he's dead. Okay, good, he's not. I'm, I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome. Giant miss, uh, Fabio? The fuck? Where are you going? Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Oh, hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. The fuck? Huh, there's nothing in here I can use. You mean to tell me I opened that door for no reason? God. Oh, wait, there's a doctor at least. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. I'm so thirsty. Ooh, man, I need something to drink, man. Thirsty. These people talk too much. All right. All right, I got a shovel now. Are we going to dig them up? What the hell? All right, well, let's dig up my dead parents then, I guess. Oh, I think, yeah. What is this casket for? Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Well, I took the crowbar, so I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir, I'll open them. Oh, can I keep it as a Christmas present? <sighs> All right. All right, the coffins can be opened. This lids are stuck. Okay. Let's open coffin number one. What the fuck? Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. <laughs> Okay, I got you, friend. What is that? Is that a cat? I don't know. Oh. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. Yeah, you're a little... Ugh. How long have they been dead? God. She's stripped of all her flesh. What about father? Oh, yeah, you too. Oh, my goodness, father. Deedly worms took your eyes. Yes, they did. Yep. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, oh, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Friend, I told you your cat was missing. Maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, friend. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still needed to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Yeah, please. Let's go because you defaced my parents' grave, you murderer. I have no idea. Oh. Well, then. What have vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. You ain't gonna touch me. You hear me? Oh, maybe you will. Ugh. What happened? I'm not dead for real this time. I know I'm not. Cutscene. Friend, what you doing? You broken little girl. So that's Remmer, that goat face man. The House of Madness invites you inside. Nah, I'd rather not. I'd rather go get something to eat. Yeah. Little bird cage. If you want to find those you love, okay. So is that where my heart used to be? I'm heartless now. Like from Kingdom Hearts. In darkness, you must wake up. Oh. Well then, wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Oh, careful. Be careful. Oh, she's an evil lady now. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. I want to believe this is the last chapter. I want to believe. Because we've already been through like four at least. <gasps> hey, look, it's Mother. Dad, that's not my real mom, though. I know it ain't. Aunt Grace, is that you? Oh, that's Aunt Grace. My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Why the hell is she chained up then? And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility. Wow! Just blame someone else, like, oh, ain't my fault. Even if she was murdered, ain't my fault. Ugh. I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But on Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are united. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. 
I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The secret of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You are selected to suffer, to cry and hate. Sounds like some evil shit. It really does. But the darkness wants to free you from all distress. Please, tight, my darling friend. Look, darkness is never good. Light is always the key, you little woman. Oh, no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. Yeah, first off, please, how could a cat kill two human beings like that sliced clean? Please tell me. I hope she, he is fine, but what, does she, what should I know? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dear Dur Dr. Dern has said that everything is in my head. Okay, um... Okay, look, I'm not going to get into that now. We're just going to leave it at that. Because I already played a lot of this, and I'm a little bit out of time right now. Because uploading this is going to take a while. So I want to get it, get to it. But I'm going to leave it right there for y'all for tomorrow. But thank y'all so much for watching. Um, what are we? Let's recap what happened. Where, do, where did we start off? We started off... Wait, we started this gameplay on the flying contraption with the uh, chemicals trying to find the uh get the right chemical and then we ended up here chained to a bed somehow I hope this ain't some porno or something i hope not but hell no it may it may up uh, maybe that I don't, I don't know stop it stop it gib all right but anyway um we came back to we came back to uh, the ship crashed um dr dern took us defaced my parents grave uh spoke to a pine cone saw a rammer now we're chained to a bed a lot has happened, and I believe this is the last chapter for us for this series. I really believe it is. But leave it right there. We will finish this up tomorrow, hopefully. I really hope so, because this has been a long series. What is this? We're at part 10. I think it's part 10. Yeah, yeah. We're going to leave it there, and we will finish this tomorrow if we can. Thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, tell me what y'all want me to play tomorrow. I might play a second game. We're going to play Fran, but maybe a second game. Y'all just gotta tell me what y'all want down in the comments. Remember, hit that like button too. And we are gonna leave it. So thank y'all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope y'all have a great day. And I will see y'all tomorrow with another video. See ya.